troubles will suffer most if Nigeria finally breaks. Stop agitating for separation. So this person puts his commentary on why you know Igbos will suffer most if Nigeria breaks and it starts most times people don't think twice before agitating for separation despite that what many individuals from the Igbo tribe want now is succession um succession have you taken time to ask yourself how the Igbos will survive without other tribes if they finally break us from Nigeria we're going to be open minded and we're going to actually go to the opinion straight away because this statement is classified as offensive the absolute audacity let us continue the point is clear in my opinion i will say egos will suffer most because a lot of them don't engage in commercial agriculture and only few eastern states manage to produce food in large quantity we need each other to survive there is no there is no doubt about this particular tribe love trading that they love trading and making plenty of money from whatever they do and maximizing wealth will always be their priority you need to have you seen the united kingdom let's not even start given the history of the given the fact that they actually colonized and they owned almost half even more than half of the world at a point these people don't even they don't when it comes to agriculture they are zero let's even continue he says, but no one can compare these attributes to the if effort of northerners in providing massive agricultural commodities and distributing it across all regions in Nigeria. That is why when their farmers and food traders embarked on a strike for a short time, things became very cheap in the north, but costly in other regions and Igbo people complained the most. Isn't it ironic? How can your own people, your domestic, your domestic industry of your food, is more expensive to the is, is uh, more expensive to indigenous rather than so you people are not patronizing your own products that shows that your gdp in the north is actually not high enough to be self-sufficient self where you can actually say consumer expenditure of your own domestic produce is actually high so you see how the problem actually lies in the north and not in the south because again because the south can afford to actually get this and acquire these foodstuff there's no need for them to do it for themselves but it does not mean that you underestimate and you think that they are under that they're, that they're not capable of doing it for themselves doesn't that make sense so this person's point is that Igbo people cannot survive separation and will suffer the most if it happens because what determines an independent nation, especially in Africa, is their ability to survive without external assistance. And Igbos will definitely suffer most without foreign help if Nigeria breaks. Maybe that is why that is why God has refused to answer that prayer, prayers calling for succession. Um, you have to understand if they don't get foreign help, foreign help from who? Because Let's not get opinionated, but the world is divided. It's either you're on the West or you're on the other side. So again, it's like, again, when it comes to international support, you have to be careful with that. Because again, it's like, you have to see, in the Biafran world, who supported Biafran, who supported Nigeria? Go and do your research. So you, you understand that with the way the line of Biafra is going, it's not even a thing of, okay, fine, external, external support, please. External support is Nigeria on... Let's not even get there because the, the fact is Nigeria is not surviving on its own. Okay? Nigerians can survive, but the international help you're looking for, the international help are benefiting from the lack of structure, poverty and infrastructure in the country. And that is why the country is where it is today. I mean, have you even asked on what grounds and on what basis did Nigeria get independent? Because again, you're talking about international assistance and all that. Do you mean the UN? Do you mean charity? Is that what you mean as international assistance? Because that is even more insulting. So again, when it comes... Because this person's opinion is based on trade. And saying it goes will suffer most, especially when it comes to agricultural sector. Absolutely not. That is false. Why is that? Because consumer expenditure in the north is absolutely not sufficient enough for domestic produce to be consumed as much. And that is why it's more expensive. However... The south, I think it's not decimation, it's the sea finish for me. It's the sea finish of the southern states because, again, it's like who said they can't do this for themselves? Consumer expenditure. Can you imagine? Despite the fact that the northern part of the country is more populous than the southern part, consumer expenditure is even more 
in the southern part of Nigeria than the north, even though they're significantly less in population. So what do you mean? So you have to then you it is safe to assume or even say safe to state that in the southern part of the country people are earning more. It is more industrious. What do you mean? So the real value of what you're exporting or trading with with the um southerners, you're doing yourself because it's not like as if they can't do again at the end of the day, each region can survive without anybody. Each region has um the self sufficiency, is that the word, to survive on its own and what do you mean Igbos will suffer the most? It is it is so offensive and so insulting, but let's not even get there. Um someone says I don't like calling anyone stupid. Um but the writer of this article is a stupid idiot, all right. Um okay. Someone says Indeed will youth think and reason wisely. The writer is excellent. We Igbos don't have one seaport, no nor enough crude oil in our land. We need each other to succeed. If we must fight, then we have to eradicate all the bad leaders in Nigeria, then we'll become a paradise on earth. All right. Someone says Abia is close to the Atl- Atlantic Ocean. Governor next project with private firm is to develop state owned seaports in Abia State. When it comes to natural resources, again, all we need is connections, first of all. Um, just look at the UK. The UK does not have oil, like, of its own, of its, like, natural resources. They have natural resources, but even when it comes to agricultural sector as well, oh my days. Again, consumerism is high, as in so, so high, but then the population is not even up to what Nigeria is. It's, the whole of Lagos is more populous, is populous than the uk itself what do you even mean so again it's like people can survive i don't understand what this please 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 uh someone there says keep quiet there is it your suffering <laughs> um someone says my opinion is that this writer of Igbos will suffer she could go kiss a pig that just finished eating garbage i mean it, it doesn't make sense i mean it, it, the article or the opinion even starts off from a note where it's it's very insulting please uh someone says Sir, all of us need each other to each other indeed. Others have no strike. Why is what does it seem as if they are not important to the society? The fact remains, the fact remains, us together we are more powerful and we can achieve more. Fact. But it requires cooperation, it takes two to tango. And if they're not ready to see that, and if both parties are not ready to do that because of unresolved issues and tensions, then why are you forcing it? Not that deep. Put what you think in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe.